Borg goes wide. And so now Bjorn Borg at 40 love, trying to get to 4-1 here in this first set. Well, a very confident start so far from Bjorn Borg. Looks very sharp today. Like where he left off yesterday, John. Came in behind a second serve to beat Jose Luis Clerc. And there it is, Borg with an ace out wide. And so Borg, 4-1, first set for all the marbles here and 100,000 U.S. dollars. Hunters knocks off that forehand volley, a cute angle. Love now. Connor's only down one break. The score a little deceptive here at 4 1. Goes down the line, John. Changed his mind, maybe. Changed his mind. It looked, looked to me like his backswing was a little bit too big there. He's playing with the wind from that end when you've got to shorten up the backswing. But we were talking about earlier on about the wind. I think the most important thing is the footwork in the wind. You've got to move your feet to that ball all the time. stops. This ball right, it just flips up on the net. Bjorn reacts a bit late. Jimmy crunches that ball cross court. That would have been a total winner. <laughs> Not too happy there. Connor still with game point here, 40 30. Sun as well. Sun got right in his eyes. This is about to hit that. He hesitated and just pushed the overhead back. Bjorn actually had a pretty good chance on the passing shot there. So Bjorn Borg now still with the break, leading 4-2, first set. This is the big game here because Bjorn is against the win. If he can hold this serve to go up 5-2, then he has the win with him. He'll be in good shape for the first set. Seventh game, first set. wide they go with the theory john at the seventh game of most sets is is a very crucial one uh, you know i've never been a big fan of that theory i know a lot of people uh, the way i look at it is every game is important uh, i'm not so sure that the seventh is any more vital than the others but you and stan smith would agree on that <laughs> what said to stan big game coming up huh stan he says just like any other game what are you <laughs> yeah. talking about love 50. Oh, 
to hit that it was nice and high and it was dropping fast good judgment here here he comes lets it go floated about four inches long 15 off big points now Connors This is John, it's moving into Connor's body. Very tough. being very aggressive from this end taking a lot more chances he knows with that wind the ball is going to hold up and he can really go for it hitting very hard up for perhaps the biggest point of the set to date 40 30 game point trying to get to 5 2 big serve out wide and it works and so Bjorn Borg holds he leads 5 2 in the first set he's just a little drop volley over good stretch keeps his racket head nice and firm John that ball had so much backspin on it oh. Even if it, Borg had gotten there, he wouldn't have been able to handle it. 15 love now. Connor's trying to stay in this first set. Getting that rally, you could see that Borg from the other end with the wind was content just to float the ball back, just keep on running the balls down and waiting for Jimmy to make the error. Some luck. Oh. I always like it when the players always say sorry after they hit a let court. I mean, you have to say that to be nice, but deep <laughs> down you're so happy. <laughs> Yes, into the open 
court. Good concentration from Connors on that passing shot. and he gets that lunging shot Bjorn barely gets it up Connors comes in ball reads this ball looks like he has an easy shot and just pushes it wide and he comes great slide at the end there from Connors Ooh. Ooh, Connors gets away with a very shaky forehand volley and a big point well, the volley was not that good there, but what happened is it held up with the win and Borg did not move his feet to the ball. Let it drop too low. Couldn't get enough angle on the passing shot. Love 30. That will go wide, and so suddenly now, Connors with big chances here. Triple break point. Bjorn Borg, double faults. Connors right back in it. from Connors on a good shot from Bork. In comes Connors, good approach shot. Bork gets the passing shot down low. Connors manages to hit that firm backhand volley, excellent volley. Look at that balance, good firm racket head out in front. And Bjorn had to be happy with the shot he hit, John. He can't hit a much better passing shot than that. Big points now, 15-30. Bork two points away from the first set. <laughs> He'll get it, but that will go wide. Bjorn again, aggressive, coming in behind. It was a dangerous shot. Well, again, he played with that volley, didn't really bend low and sort of pushed the volley. And luckily for him, the wind held it. Looked like it was going long. What does he care? He's got two set points. <laughs> exactly. 15-40, double set point for the five-time Wimbledon champion, Bjorn Borg. Oh. Oh. Bounce. That one skidded off the service line. Bjorn lined up to hit it and went right under his racket. Connors gets a little luck on one set point. Thank <laughs> you. 
that this wind is treacherous, not just high, but swirling down on that center court. Very solid shots, Connors hit right there, the two-hander. Well, Bjorn took a little bit off that approach shot coming in, and it was that was sort of almost a prayer. You can't come in against Connors unless you've got a little bit more on the ball than that. Ah! Big points now. Connors would love to get an early break here in this second set. yelled something over John. <laughs> I'm not sure I caught that. <laughs> he Jake. wants a rest over there. <laughs> Fabulous point. There was an occasion early on in that rally where I thought Borg had a chance to come in on a half-court shot, didn't take that opportunity and paid for it at the end of the rally. Double break point now, 15-40, first game, second set. shot selection there he went over the highest part of the net tried to sort of win her down the line when Connors was standing there anyway would have been smarter to have gone cross court it's going to go way over the baseline with the wind behind board he miss hits it and so Connors now quickly to 40 love of the wind changing in every game. He doesn't know where the ball's going. And Connors holds a crucial game for the number one seed, Jimmy Connors. Three games all now. I think, John, the quality of play under these conditions has been remarkable today. Excellent tennis. I mean, it is tough conditions. I know we, we, we've talked a lot about it, but it is exceptionally tough out there. And I, there's been very few unforced errors. The, the quality of tennis has been remarkable. Connors having some fun with the fans. Boy, what's remarkable to me about Connors, he can do that and then instantly get right back into the match. Concentration. Three all, second set. Oh, 
Forcing play from Connors. Love 15. Connors starting to come into the net a lot more. with that forehand, nets it. And so now a big chance for Connors, love 30. Beautiful hat, that one, Barry. Oh, geez, that's a, it's like a gator. Ace number five for Borg, what a time for it. Down love 30. He has really picked his spots to go for big serves. Borg with five aces to come compared with uh, Connor's one. Ooh, that second serve. And a double fault. Just over the... I'm looking ahead, John. It looks like there's some very tough players going to join this tour. Well, we have Andres Gomez is playing all the tournaments. You know, he won the French Open, a great clay court player. And we also have Yannick Noah who's playing uh, one of the events in uh, Boston, which I think he'll be a great addition to the tour. And, and I think we're going to get more and more of the big stars to play. addition of Jose Louis Claire this year was a big plus mm -hmm. definitely Clerk and Vilas with their great rivalry have played some terrific matches all right Connors now 30 15 up and serving with a break 4 3 final set oh it flies out of Connors hand boy that's unusual he was lucky that serve didn't go in, otherwise we would have obviously lost the point. He was asking for a towel. Another look. Oh, that came flying out. In fact, that's, that's very unusual for Connors. Borg, this, this happens to Borg a lot of times in, in matches, but I've, I don't think I've ever seen it happen to Connors. Second serve now. the shot for was hitting so well in the first set. Jimmy trying to get that grip dried off. to get right back in this set. Break point. Two beautiful forehands in a row there, those inside out shots. what Connors tends to do when he's down a break point he always plays aggressive tennis you could see before that for a couple of points he let Borg take the initiative down a break point in he comes to the net Connors it's very interesting John what, I, what he just did he went and poured some water on that grip and now he's toweled it off to try and get it a little tacky he used to do that at the start of every match big points now 30 all <laughs> Things up. Oh. 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 Just 
the net. And so once again, Borg with a chance. That looked like a little bit of a tired shot there. Didn't yeah. move his feet very well for that ball. Relatively easy shot, pulled it into the net. Four games all. But what a pressure shot this was, because this was an excellent approach shot from Conley. He didn't have much room to spare there and managed to thread the needle down the line. Two inches inside the baseline. Well, this match is going back and forth all the time. It's incredible. Fifteen love. the day suddenly John maybe this is the calmest in terms of wind that we've seen it's calming down just a little bit we have had Borg leading 5-4 in the final set they split the first two sets this is the finals a hundred thousand to the winner and the Nuveen Masters title oh, Connors lines up the forehand costly error John puts him down love 15 and now Bjorn Borg three points away from this championship Connors has other ideas Looms even larger. Harris could have a 30 love lead here. Instead, 15 all. Well, that was an excellent swinging serve from Connors. He hasn't served too many of those today. Got Borg out of court, out of position. Had the easy forehand. on this approach shot ball barely gets up to it great get and Connors didn't think he was going to get to it took his took his hand off the grip look at this get great slide had his hand off the grip It's wide. 
Good point again from Connors there to go up 40-15, but I think the problem here is Borg has, is, is not as aggressive as she should be in this game. He's pushing the ball back, not taking any chances, content to wait for Jimmy to come in, and he shouldn't be doing that. 40-15. Could we be headed for a tiebreak? long that is one of jimmy's favorite approach shot isn't it john down the line he loves that one he just took his eye off that one slightly just carried it long Set it up there. Two excellent serves he made in that game. A swinging left-handed serve out wide. And this crowd now giving both players a huge hand. Five games all. Final set. What a show they have put on today. Let's see if Paul can stay aggressive in this game. for the ace. Don't believe it, a great lunge on that backhand volley. Connors hit the best shot he's hit all day. Well, here he comes, this forehand. Good backhand volley from Borg. Got it nice and deep. Connors rockets that ball. Look at that lunge. get from Connors. He comes with the easy put away. Borg had a two chances there. Firstly with the overhead, hit it straight back down the middle right at Connors, and then tried the drop volley. Didn't need to do that shot. That, that point a little reminiscent of the great point against Harhus yeah. at the U.S. Open when Connors brought the house down. Broke no. a string. Ooh, breaking a string. Crucial time. You'll have to come back and serve a second serve with a new racket, John. That's tough to do, isn't it? It's tough to do because every racket is slightly different. No matter what anybody says, you always you have a slightly different feel with every string that you play with. And to have to change that on a second serve, that's tough. There is the old broken string. This is a second serve. sudden and so bored down 1530 as we've mentioned the quality of play here just seems to get better every game Ace number 10 right down the center what a time for that excellent serve Ten aces for Borg. That's exceptional in his weather condition. Almost another one. Connors into the open court. Again, Jimmy hitting a good approach shot. That must really get you down when you hit a first serve that good, expecting almost an ace, and Connors digs it back in and ends up winning the point. And now, maybe the biggest point of this match. Break point for Connors to go up 6-5. Yes. Unbelievable point again as Borg lunges for the backhand volley. Oh, 
Hooks it out wide. Good firm wrist. Contact out in front. Winters nails the return, but it catches the net. And so Borg now with a chance to hold. Clean winner. Oh. Set up beautifully for it. Has had no chance on the passing shot. It just clipped the top of the net. Tough break. caught up in the wind but he managed just to poke the ball over over now to serve for this championship leading six games to five they split the first two sets and John that last game maybe one of the best games of this match fabulous game and suddenly now at this dramatic moment in the match suddenly a few drops of rain just coming down but this court should handle that without much trouble that first serve. The ball has got to stay aggressive in this game. He was unlucky a little bit to lose that last game. He's got to be aggressive, come in the net when he gets the chance. Trying to get into the net there, but Connors didn't give many short balls. Jimmy Connors at triple championship point. Same 
is one. A very deep approach shot. Connors had to kind of half volley that ball. Still match point, championship point for Connors. Big forehand. Six, six, four, seven, five. 